Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue to read the psalm. Um, last time I finished the Psalms 117. 117 is uh, just uh, five uh, sentences. It's very short. And I, I started the first half of the Psalm 118. So basically, if you recall, Psalm 117 just the praise the Lord. And the first part of the uh, Psalm 118 is also uh, praise the Lord and calling those three group of peoples, all the Israelites and also the Aaron's descendants and also all that uh, fear the God and believe this God. And also uh, talking about the, the, the wicked and also the righteous, um, what how God treat them and uh, um, differently. And uh, uh, emphasize the author of this psalm, of the taking the refuge in the Lord and uh, um, trust um, than trust in man. So I'm going to continue to finish uh, finish the Psalm 118. I'm going to read it. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the wretches. The Lord is right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die but to live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness, I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks for your answers me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us. O Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine upon us. With bowls in hand, draw in the festival process up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give you thanks. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. So this is some uh, the second part of Psalm 118. Um, I think the writing, um, more detailed about the faith and uh, um, about the Lord and His gate and um, compared to the first part. So um, I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength. My son has become my salvation, um, because it previously mentioned uh, mentioned that. Uh, um, in, in my anguish, I cried to the Lord, and he answered by setting me free. And uh, all the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. So uh, saying that um, the in the circumstances that are kind of surrounded by the enemies, um, um, those like uh, like bees or um, from different sides, and the God helped them to cut them off. And now that uh, a continuous continuously saying that I was pushed back and about to fall but Lord help me and the Lord is my strength my son has become a situation so this is also continue from previously seeing the situation uh, I was pushed back and about to fall but the God just uh, grab it I think why I just started to listen to this uh, some lady talked to me about the faith I do not know whether it's applicable to this, but if you put the child on the table, you ch tell the child that you fall down, I'll catch you. The child definitely will do it. But for the adult, nobody will do it because the child has the the uh, the thought of pure trust that the parents will uh, uh, hold them up, will uh, lift them up, will keep them secure. But with the time and when the brain, uh, I think, are getting mature and seeing more, and we all lost this kind of the the trust of pure. So, um, and this is uh, I think so. When when I read this, I think this the author just emphasized he was pushed back, but uh, the Lord saved him, helped him. 
and shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteousness. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. So this is um, the quoted. Uh, the Lord's right hand has done mighty things and repeated. So this is a calling, shout, joy, victory, a resounding tense of righteousness uh, that God will help, his right hand will lift up. I will not die but live, and I will proclaim that the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has given me over to death. So this is also saying that uh, the Lord has chastened me severely. It's kind of discipline, I guess. Um, he has not given me over to death, but still saved me and I did not die because um, I claim God proclaim his victory um, open for me the gates of righteousness I will enter and give thanks to the Lord this is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter I give you thanks for your answer to me and you have become my salvation so this is saying the thankful giving the thanksgiving or the thankful feelings and ask God uh, to open it up and uh, uh, not only for salvation, but for thanksgiving. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this and is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So this saying, the stones, um, I think the ancient buildings, a lot of really were uh, made by the stones the pillar stones or the walls but this is the kind this is saying that the stones rejected by the builders but uh, become the capstone capstone is uh, similar like uh, i think it's like the, um, the pillar or even covering the roof or i might understand it's very important so those we uh, were rejected by the builders referring to the human but god will um, set different visions upon them so choose them as the important stones like a cornerstones or the pillar and this is the uh so all so oh lord save me oh lord grant us success bless is is he who comes in the name of the lord from the house of the lord we bless you so this is a saying um uh, who believe in this god and the god will bless this person or the house of the Lord we bless you um, the Lord is God and he has made his light shine upon us with both in hand drawing the festival process up to the horns of the altar so this is a um, uh, continue to praise the light of God shine upon us um, with both in hand and drawing the festival process to the horns of the altar so this is still saying that those chosen I think this is a kind of talking about the temple, the church. Um, I, I cannot say anything about the church or temple, but uh, from this, it's just that God chose his own houses um, to shine upon. Um, you're my God, and I will give you thanks. You're my God, and we exalt you. So this is saying that God is my God. I will praise you forever. I will give thanks to the Lord for his good, his love, and choose forever. Is prayed. So this is Psalm 170, 18 together in two videos. And uh, from this, we see the praise, first of all, and we see the real part, the the swamp, uh, swamped by the people, by the like uh, uh, schemat schematic uh, plot, and uh, also uh, enemies, and also saying those, um, and the, the suffering of the life, pushed to the back, and the disgust by the uh, discussed by the uh, builders but uh, picked up by the God. So this is uh, saying the real and uh, praise uh, on top of the faith. So I'm going to stop here and uh, uh, um, I hope that you can read and interpret in your own way. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.